Well, hello, this is Dr. Keith with another quick wellness news nugget. Uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, this nugget today is from goodmorningamerica.com. It's a pretty popular uh, story that came out today. September the 17th is uh, entitled Jeopardy! Host Alex Trebek says he is undergoing chemotherapy again after numbers went sky high. Now, if you're joining me for the first time, I am Dr. Keith Henry. Keith Henry, I'm a naturopathic doctor. In a quick wellness news nugget, I take an article that comes out having to do with health, and I give my perspective on it as a natural practitioner. Just give a little commentary on it. Now, this, uh, I would tell you up front that when I first heard it, that he had pancreatic cancer some months ago, I thought that he would probably be dead in about six months. Uh, especially going with allopathic medicine or what we now call the traditional way with be, <clears throat> being chemotherapy, <clears throat> excuse me, being chemotherapy, uh, surgery, and or radiation. And uh, because pancreatic cancer is one of the most devastating cancers, uh, very devastating cancer. And uh, it is the uh, treating it the regular way has a very low success rate. And so I didn't think that he would, I personally didn't think that he would, last much more than six months and he's at about the six month mark now uh it says here in this article that jeopardy host alex trebek says he is undergoing chemotherapy again after numbers went sky high and he goes on to point out in this article that during this interview the article is basically a, a article talking about the interview that he had and it says that he was in this interview he told a, uh, ABC News that his doctors have decided to, to have him undergo chemo again after he lost a large amount of weight and his numbers skyrocketed right after finishing his first round of treatment for stage four pancreatic cancer. Now understand, stage four pancreatic cancer is very, very serious. It's pretty much the last stage and, and, and it's dealing with one of the toughest cancers, one of the most, I call it, a, it has a very high, what I call a kill rate. And um, even for natural, for natural uh practitioners, this could be a very challenging cancer, but the success rate uh, would probably be better than with the regular, not probably would be better uh, than chemotherapy, especially in, in, you know, the body is already in, a, in, a, in an acid state and to dump more chemo, uh, large amounts of chemo in the body uh, to kill those, uh, your immune cells. It kills cancer cells, but it also kills your immune cells, the, immune, uh, the cells that you need, uh, your immune system cells. So. Basically, it's not a very good uh, way to treat cancer. He goes on to say in his article that he was doing so well and his numbers went down to that of the equivalent of a, a, a normal person who does not have pancreatic, pancreatic cancer. So he said they were all very opt optimistic and his doctor said, okay, we're gonna stop the chemo and we're gonna start, start you on immunotherapy. So basically they were gonna, now they're gonna say, okay, we're gonna start trying to boost your immune system. Now. Immunotherapy is really what cures cancer, but the way that the medical community now does it, as opposed to the way that a natural practitioner would do it, is, is somewhat different. And so the immunotherapy, the whole idea behind it is to boost your immune system back up to a, a, a level to you can fight, off, fight the cancer off itself, as opposed to uh, you trying to kill off the cancer. And because that's not really how cancer is cured. Um, the natural way, you have to, you have to go down and you have to go down into the stem cells, et cetera. This is not the place to go into this, but but simply um, to keep it simple, he goes on to say that he lost about 12 pounds in a week. And he says, my numbers went sky high, much higher than they were when I, when I was first diagnosed. This is because he is dying as opposed to living. He says, so the doctors have decided that I have to undergo chemo again, and that's what I am doing. Uh, he talked about how cancer has taken a, a toll on his body, saying sometimes it's excruciating pain, other times it's fatigue. Um, he went on to say further that he sometimes feels a surge of sadness and depression. And he goes on to say that it's uh, sometimes he gets teary-eyed and, and, and almost uh, goes into tears for no apparent reason. And this is because when you're, whenever, anytime you have any type of disease or sickness, uh, the mind and the body, they function uh, very closely. And when one is sick, the other sympathizes, or one is affected, the other sympathizes. And so, again, like I said, uh, I I wish the best for Mr. Trebek and his family. And but to be honest, as a natural practitioner, and looking at the way that he's going, he's going the uh, what's now the traditional way of chemotherapy. 
Um, I, I, I'm not, I mean, I, I wish him the best. I hope that he ends up the best, but I'm not very optimistic about it. And, uh, but who knows? Um, God can still heal, but I, I just don't, um, uh, I, I don't really have much of a, uh, I'm not very optimistic, optimistic about his outlook. So I'm not surprised. Like I said before, when I heard that he had it, I thought that he would probably be dead in six months unless he went into a very, very high level natural program. Uh, when I heard that he wasn't doing that, I, I figured he would probably be dead in six months. And this is September. Uh, he was diagnosed in March. Um, at least it was made public in March. I'm assuming he was diagnosed in March according to all the published reports. And so uh, I'm not wishing death on him. I'm just speaking from a, a matter of fact position and, as a, and in my perspective and my commentary as a natural practitioner. So all the best to Mr. Trebek and his family, and I hope and pray for them. Thank you for listening uh, to this quick wellness news nugget, and be sure to subscribe. Until next time, goodbye.